We're in Scotland this week. And that's Arica, if that's been announced right. In the Lot Lomond and Trussocks area. Mark with Daniels pushing on ahead. We're here for three days, two nights. And his aim is doing the Arica Alps, which consists of Ben Narnine, or Narnane, however it's pronounced. So you'll have to, any Scottish viewers, you'll have to forgive me pronunciations. So we're heading up Ben Narnane, Ben Eam. And we're camping on Ben Neem to Ben Neem tonight and tomorrow, which is Thursday, so it's Wednesday today, Thursday tomorrow. We're heading over Ben Vane, down into the valley and up onto Ben Vorlick, where we're camping tomorrow night. And then Friday morning, coming down off Ben Vorlick, back down this valley here, back to the car. The old route's about 20 miles, so we've got quite a few big days ahead of us. They're all 900 metres plus. Ben Eames 1,016 or something like that. We've got a cracking uh, weather forecast, cracking weather window. Nice and dry for the next three or four days. But we've got some uh, very low temperatures forecast. Down to zero or minus two. And Friday morning gets a little bit rough with wind and it's forecast like minus six feels like it wind. Well, to all uh, winter gears in anyway. It's better to have and not need and need and not having it, that old saying. So here yeah, we set off from home at two o'clock this morning. We got here for about eight, seven, eight ish or something. It's about half nine now. We stopped off and got some breakfast. Had a bit of an issue getting parked down here. Couldn't get a ticket. Or we could get a ticket but we couldn't quite fathom it out. So campsite, there's a woman in there has camped for two nights for £10. So we got lucky with that, dropped on there. So yeah, let's get cracking. Let's get up this hill. This is a sent up onto Ben Narnane now. Path goes up up round here. And that top bit up there, that's Rambles known as the spearhead. So a nice little tough bit to come up to the summit.
Stuart Butt Trig here, quite busy. 926 metres, we've just, uh, Dan's just coming down off at top. We've just come down off, uh, off at top. We're going to have half an hour here just to get some snapping and get some water on board. And that's the next destination, Benim. That's over the thousand metres, thousand and sixteen or something like that, I think it is. But this is going to be a welcome little break here. Get this bag off its shoulders, have a little stretch, and get some snap on. So we to. Oh, what a drag that's been up there! What a climb! Oh, well, we just uh, come across this nice little fresh water spring here, running nice and clear and fresh. That no bits in there out. So we filtered about three litres of water a piece. That's that's coming down off the top of Ben Nani, and of course, and uh, we just got to go down here, hit this main path, and head up onto Ben at Ben Eam. Just there. And that's where we've come from. Ben Nanin. That has been one hell of a climb. It's, it's about 20 to 6 or something like that, quarter to 6. And we set off from top of there at 20 past 3. That's how long it's taken us to come down that. And get up here. Two more minutes and we're there. Yes, Ben Neem, Ben Neem Summit, 1011 metres, I felt every metre, there's a nice, uh, nice cool breeze up here, just need to have a look around for the pitch now, quarter to six, so we have a good hour and quarter or so, 20 minutes or so before the sunset, Absolutely stunning. Stunning. <sighs> right, so we've got pitched up and a couple of nice little spots here. And there, Dan's there. Got a change of clothing. It's dropped a little bit cool now. But, uh, it's quarter to seven, it's another 15 minutes yet for what uh, sun sets over that way. It's looking gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And we think, uh, you'll not see it on GoPro like, but uh, that one radiant distance over there, right on the horizon, we think that's Ben Nevis. So we can see it sort of side at North Face and then the uh, array to right, left hand side and it? it's definitely the right shape. So we're watching to uh, sunset, getting the brew on, getting some tea. We've checked forecast and this cloud's gonna hang about until midnight but then it's it's clear from midnight. Drops down to about zero temperature and it's gonna be a stunning day tomorrow again. Clear all day unless it changes again forecast but so tomorrow we'll be dropping down off edge of here in the morning.
dropping down into the bottom. Going up onto this one which is Ben Vane. Dropping off at the far side of there. And round onto that one there, Ben Vorlick. And then Friday morning when we've uh, done camp on there. We'll go back down the same way we've come. And it valley, right back, it's about a three mile walk, right back into Arica. So a nice gentle, uh, nice descent and a nice gentle walk back in valley, back to where we park car. Stopping these clothes dry, I went through with sweat. Right, time for the brew, watch this sun go down. So it's just gone quarter to eleven. I've had a stay and everything and had a brew that were earlier on. That sunset was something else, absolutely stunning. So Dan's already in bed asleep, he's been in sleep about an hour or so now. But uh, I've just been, I've got all my warm gear on because I put me, uh, fetch my little uh, sky watch with me. It coats temperature and that, and it, at minute, well, earlier on it was, it dropped down to 2 degrees after the sunset. But it's minus 1 now, and there's a fair bit of frost on tents as well now. So, I poked my head out earlier on, about 10 o'clock, and that cloud that we had had cleared, and stars were absolutely stunning. And Milky Way over here, the car at Milky Way, just over back here, over the top of the way, Summit Cairn is. So I just couldn't resist it, could I? I've got my, I've got my Canon camera with me and uh, tripod. So I've had half an hour out doing a bit of uh, astrophotography. So I've got, got a few with the uh, tent lit up. I've got some with like Summit Cairn and Car at Milky Way. Absolutely stunning it is up here, stunning. So I need to uh, I need to get my head down there and get some kip, get some rest. Ready for tomorrow's adventure. So I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. It's, uh, it's just about quarter to eight now. Been up since about quarter to seven. Put my alarm on for half six to uh, get up for sunrise. So I've had a, a good seven hours keep there and I've slept well. I woke up this morning, there's a, a good 20 mile an hour constant wind. There's a minus 6 inch wind chill with a minus 1, it's been over neat. But like I was saying last night, them, uh, them stars and that uh, Milky Way last night were absolutely stunning. So we've had a, a good sunrise this morning, but the current situation is, as you can see, Dark. So whether this will clear, forecast was for a clear day today like so yeah, it'll be what it is innit, it's definitely cold this morning, got all warm gear still on. So I've just got a, a brew on and some breakfast, it shouldn't be long before we uh, starting to pack a few things away and moving on. If you're seeing that, I don't know if GoPro will pick it up, but uh, a little bit of a Brock Spectre going on here this morning. Perfect conditions for it. Sun behind you in uh, misting valleys. Stunning, look at that. Absolutely amazing.
warmed up a bit. Right, it's just uh, about quarter past ten. We've packed up. What a nice lazy morning. Let tents dry off a bit with this breeze. That's where I was. Down we're just there. This wind's gone up a bit now. It's 20-25 uh, mile an hour winds gusting. But it's been a grand morning. All that low lying cloud at Miss cleared now. Kept coming in and coming out. A bit clagged out at times but then it kept clearing. It's looking like it's going to be another stunning day. So we're going to crack off. Dan's already set off. Dropping off at the end of the year. Up onto Ben Vane, which is this one over there. And then up onto Ben Vorlick for tonight. So let's get going. So that's where we've come from, right at the top of there. That is way all the way down here. And according to the map, this is, if I pronounce this right, Lag Wayne Valley, if I've got that right. So we've just took bags off here, shed a, a layer or two, because we've worked to sweat up coming down there. It's really warmed up now. Oh, so we've got bags off side of this little gill here, get some uh, water on board. Get a good drink. And had enough up there next bend vein. Path goes off up here. So sort to of traverse is down and then you straight off up to the ridge, up to the top. Absolutely beautiful this. Look at that view back down that valley. I'm glad we're not going back up here. I'm just uh, going to show you why you've got to be extremely very very careful when you're up in hills and mountains and whatnot. No matter where you are. I've got this little bit of a stream here, this little near it. Watch this. You want to drop in here with your leg. You see that? That goes in up to there straight down to rock. You want to drop in there with your leg you've got some problems. So that's just to uh, highlight. You start careful you've got to be when you're out, no matter where you're at, like I say, just be careful. Things like that.
where we are, Ben Vane Summit, 916 meters. Ooh. Two summit cairns, a bit luck on it, so I'll dip over there and touch that one, make it official. You can see where we've come from now. Get a bit of perspective at what we've done. So let's bend down nine in there. Come up that. Down into the saddle. That's Ben Eam. And then we've come down that into the bottom. And up here. And it's another cracking day. Little bit of a breeze, it's got a nice little chill in it. Just the job, just the job. So that's as uh, we're going to stop here for a bit, get something to eat, and get a drink, have a little rest. Steep descent off of here, and then that's tonight's destination Ben Vorlick. This is just at that other summit cairn here. Look at that, look at that view. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. This lock down here, I think that's Lock Sloy. for words, lost for words. Not many better places to stop and have a bite to eat, is there? That's it, Scotland weather. One minute we're in nice sunshine. The next minute we're in an hailstorm. And this is where an emergency bib is coming. That's all the felting down. Wow. Emergency bivy. An important piece of kit that you should always carry when you're in mountains. Still a little bit of a Ben Vorlick, but look at this here. Proper ale. Right ale storm that's been. Put a good coat in there. And that's it sodding off over towards Ben Narnane and Ben Eam. It's still stunning looking that way. Ah, and it's stunning over that way, over that way. Still seeing flurries back up there. That summit of Ben Vane just up there. I don't know where it GoPro's picking it up, but you can still see all them flurries coming over that side there. Even here, look. Looks like it's, it's a bit of snow, isn't it? Like, it looks like a bit of snow as well as hail. You did forecast that, it was forecast, didn't you? Well. Yeah, this is snow. Yeah, a bit of snow now. Weren't it forecast this today? It's supposed to be nice and clear all day. 
Right, we've had a uh, bit of a change of plan. It's nearly quarter to five now. And with that descent coming off of there, quite a steep descent with uh, quite a bit of hands-on coming off of Ben Vane on this side. It's uh, very steep-sided on this side coming off. And then we're getting caught out in that, uh, that hailstorm. We're at uh, emergency bivvy for quite a while. Dan's having a little bit of bother with his knee. So what we've decided to do, instead of trying to push on, because we've still got most of this to drop off yet, and then really, really steep path up onto Ben Varley, and then right up onto there, where there's no way we'd have got there in light. Sunset's about seven o'clock-ish. So what we've done is, we're pitching here, and then tomorrow morning, we're dropping off, heading back, it's about four, four, three and a half, four mile walk back down valley back to the car, so we're going to, we're boycotting that, be there for another time. So we've got these two little pictures here, we're going to get a brew on, I think we get two teas tonight, have enough snap, so it's getting you up tonight, taking it home. Still quite a lot. That's Ben Moore over there. Ben Lamont, should I say. That's got all rain, probably sleeting slow and snow around it. You can see over there. That's looking north, that's to east. We've got a bit of like a sort of a north northeast wind. We're going to be getting some more of that in a bit. And if you looked at north, it's absolutely black over there. That's either uh, snow or hailstorm or heavy rain. So I'm going to get on my to tent, get a set up inside the tent and get a brew on. Said it were coming. Good job I got these tents pitched up when we did. Wow. <laughs> Come on. None of this were forecast by the way and it's still in. I've just rechecked forecast now it's supposed to be sunny.
morning. It's just about eight o'clock. Set a lamp on here, six to get up. See it's sunrise. We've had a cracking sunrise again this morning. That uh, what do you, winds were due to get up this morning, not forecast, like 35 mile an hour gust. But it had uh, it changed from uh, like a north north east to a north north west. So I think the uh, main summit of Ben Vane's giving us a bit of shelter because it's not it's not bad. It, we're only talking eight, eight, ten mile an hour winds at most. So that's nice. Giant tent off just nice. Not be packing away, not be packing tent away wet through this morning. So that's dried off just right. <laughs> yeah, stunning morning again. Lord had some breakfast. Second brew. Yeah, stunning view down Lot Loman there this morning. And that ice peak there is Ben uh, Ben Lomond. Nicely silhouetted with some behind it. I'll just off to the side, should I say? So like I say, it's just gone eight o'clock. Another where's not being up there now. We're gonna have a little bit of a lazy morning, steady pack away, and then. Uh, a bit enough down this track here, just in front of us. A bit of a steep, scrambly descent to start with. Making his way back down into the valley. I don't know if you can see down into that forest down there because it's sun, but and then it's about a four-mile walk back round, back down to valley, then back into Arica. So just steady away. Get back down there at a decent time, and then it's a five-hour drive home. So we're probably looking. Late tea time, early evening, getting home. Yeah, I've enjoyed this trip, really enjoyed it. A little bit unfortunate with yesterday's events. Like I said, Dan's been struggling with his knee, so coming down, we've been taking his time even going up. Like I said, we should have been up on Ben Vorlick tonight, it was like this morning, last night, but not to be. And then getting caught out in that hailstorm yesterday. Had to take cover in to emergency bivy. So that had a dot at time. And by the time I got down down to here, we made a decision and decided to stop here last night. So I think it was the best decision rather than trying to do that because we just want to go up there in daylight I was. So it's here for another time, it ain't going nowhere, is it? Definitely back up here at some point to get some more done. Absolutely stunning it is up here. Might do a winter one in snow, that'll be interesting. Maybe I'll like what we've done though. I think it'll be just a uh, pick a summit up and back down. <laughs> Not gonna be doing all that mileage and up three mountains in, in snow, in deep snow, that would be a challenge. I'm going to finish with this cuppa, right here another. And enjoy this beautiful morning. Here we are, we're packed up. That's where I was, leave no trace as always. A little bit of flat grass. Then we'll be the same. And this bag feels a hell of a lot lighter, I can tell you that for now. So it's just gone quarter past nine. We decided we're going to get off and try and get back to the car at a decent time. We still got a good few hours worth of walking yet, a good few miles to put in. I'm not going to sign off just here yet, I'll probably sign off down at the car, do a little bit more to the camera on way down. So I'll leave you with uh, that view for a minute.
Well, so we're finally back down onto a bit of flat walking. That's Ben Vane's summit, just behind me, left shoulder up there. Now that's not the uh, summit. It goes again beyond that. It's been a steep descent, that one. So we've only about two and a half to three mile now. Just down this track. We pick a track up called Three Locks Way. Back down through a forest track, back into uh, Arica. It'd be uh, it's good on legs and knees this now, a bit of uh, flat track walking rather than up and down, up and down. Right, I'm going to wrap it up here. We're only about a quarter of a mile from car now. That's where it all started three days ago. Ben Nanin. What a climb that was. What a climb. And from there up onto Benin, where we camp fish neat. And then from Benin up to Ben Vane, where we've just camped last night. We've come down from this morning. And uh, just a little tip for anybody that's planning on doing Benin to Ben Vane or opposite way. There's no paths. Yesterday was a really, really tough, hard day. You just literally have to make it up as you go. There's no, no distinguished path, there's no interpath anywhere. Really tough day yesterday, descending Ben Eamon, ascending Ben Vane. But it's been a cracking three days doing Arica Alps in Scotland. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been absolutely fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I've enjoyed doing it. I'm knackered. Can't wait to get back to that car and get this bag off my shoulders and these boots off. So as always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on next time.